Machine X and Y produce identical bottles at different constant rates. Machine X operating alone for Y hours filled part of the production lot. The machine Y operating alone for three hours filled the rest of this lot. How many hours would it take, have taken machine X operating alone to fill the entire production lot? So I'm going to use X for the rate of machine X and Y for the rate of machine Y. And so machine X operating for four hours plus machine Y operating for three hours equals one lot. But here we'd have to know something about the relative size of X and Y in order to be able to figure out how long it would take X to work alone. So statement number one tells us, actually gives us a numerical value, X equals 30 bottles per minute. Well, it's great to have a numerical value, but unfortunately we have no idea what the value is for Y and we have no idea what the size of the lot is. So this numerical value by itself is not sufficient. It may wind up helping us in combination with something else at some other point in the problem, but right now it is insufficient. Now forget statement number one. Statement number two tells us machine X produced twice as many bottles in four hours as machine Y produced in three hours. So machine X in four hours, what that produced equaled twice of what machine Y was able to produce in three hours. Well, this would allow us to express Y in terms of X. We could solve for Y in terms of X or solve for X in terms of Y and then plug back in to this equation up here and express it entirely in terms of X or entirely in terms of Y. That would allow us to figure out the time it would have taken for X operating alone to finish one lot. So this statement by itself is completely sufficient. Statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice B.